Blue Ranger Power! <laughs> Greetings everyone, all my fellow cosplayers and gamers, we got Blue Ranger Power here. And this, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Normally I'd say what, if, what I've been up to or this or that, but I haven't made a video in a while, but reason being is because I talked in my previous videos about how I was going to be having medical surgery and I actually had the surgery, the lower back surgery, but I'm going to be okay. And they, I was able to sit for a little while and I had to take it easy, so couldn't really do a lot. But here's my hospital bed, but it's all right. I'm doing better now. No, nothing to do. I actually did go to MorphCon. I wasn't able to do anything with filming because I had to watch what I was able to carry without the cradle heart myself, so I really had to take it easy. But everything at MorphCon was amazing. So I'm going to talk, up, talk a little bit about what happened out there, who I all met, and all that stuff. Well, here's something crazy. It was Power Morphicon, but I bought stuff there that was not even Power Ranger related. No joke. There was this one booth, really cool guy. He said if, he's, if I give him 20 bucks, I can like, pick 8 things out of the box and get a few things. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And then I paid him 20 bucks, and then it was a gamble, and then I actually got a gift card for his booth. It was like 50 bucks, and here's... I got this, this graded old school Pokemon Black Bulbasaur card, candy from the back of the day. These cards are actually really hard to find, and I, and I bought that with the with the with the gift card I got from him. And then he threw in these comics, Carnage Forever, and Old School Captain America. So that was pretty cool. And he also gave me some stickers, and I kind of put them on my my mug. That the Triforce. That was actually given to me by another vendor over there. And that was one of the stickers that came in my VIP bag, my Magneton, and my Power Morphicon exclusive sticker. So I thought it was cool to put this on here. Oh yeah, but nothing more fun. I got a lot of cool stuff, got a lot of autographs, met a lot of really cool people, hung with some friends and everything. And here's one of my wristbands for the after party I went to. There was an after party with Power Rangers and I got to sit down at tables, talk to the actual guests and everything. Pretty fun, and here's my lanyard with one of my buttons. And fun thing, I unintentionally got two of this exact same button, and no joke, one of the vendors there came across it, offered me a trade for it, and I accepted it. He traded one of those buttons for this one, so I was like, okay, I'll take it. So that's pretty badass. Oh yeah, but heads up, I got a lot of shit I gotta show you guys, so bear with me. Well, the day before MorphCon, there was an in-store signing at Big Bang Toys with Steve Cardenas. And he signed, he signed one of my pictures. Oh, well, well, I forgot what it was, but I don't have it up here. It was just a picture of a picture I got at MorphCon a couple years ago that I just had a picture of him, so it's not a big deal. But the main thing I got from him was this. This badass power coin with his signature on it. So that was pretty cool. And then my original VHS tape. Got that signed. Well, Amy Joe's always been on there, but I finally got Oz and St. John on there. So he, he was there on day day one and two, so got him taken care of. That was cool. And don't know why I bought this pop. It's only like 10 bucks, so I said, you know, it's cool, and you know what, she, we recently passed the anniversary of her death, so may I rest in peace, but she's always going to be one of the original, one of the best Yellow Rangers of all time. And they had this exclusive toy over there I bought, Legend of the White Dragon, Jason Day Frank's new project. That's cool, Jason Day Frank was there, but his line was ridiculously long and I didn't feel like waiting, so I skipped his line at this time, but that's alright. I've met him like god knows how many times, I think, and I afford to I miss him once. And these are the two exclusive toys I had to get. The black and gold Megazord, black and gold Dragonzord. I actually have the, the Morphicon exclusive black and gold Megazord from my first Morphicon 2016. Still in the original box, so I thought it was pretty cool, and... Whoops. My some of the stuff I bought, some of the stuff is VIP, so instead I came with bag, so let's all learn that out. And actually I bought this really cool mouse pad for my computer. That's why I've had the same mouse pad for so long. It's still a cool mouse pad, but this it's it's time to get a new one. Put it back where I found it. 
but it's a really cool mouse. But I paid like 10 bucks for that, so I thought it was cool. And they gave me this VIP power coin so I can cut some of the lines. It just didn't work on the ADS line, so no, no, no big deal though. These are the buttons I got with my, my VIP pass. Got Power Rangers Wild Force, this Power Ranger Dino Head, and this really cool looking helmet. Like the, I think this is Mega Force and Super Sentai, I could be wrong. Another Super Sentai pin. This one. And then Power Rangers Time Force. I watched a little bit of that one. That one actually is really pretty. It's pretty cool, sure. Don't worry, Mighty Morphin is always going to be the number one in my book. I'm always going to be, a, that's always going to be my favorite. But that one's really cool. It's pretty cool. And this one, Power Morphicon. That's so pretty cool. Pins I got. Oops, dropping them. And they had this exclusive print. It's for it's the 30 year anniversary of Power Rangers. Got this. Only ones have signed. I got Karen Ashley, Walter Jones, Steve Cardenas, and Catherine Sutherland. I signed all of it. So they only had 100 of these there, so I thought, you know, it's cool. Far more fun exclusive. And it was number 11 of 100. And. One of the posters I got in the VIP bag. Please bear with me. It's like I, I, I lost stuff on my bed and some of it's just kind of far away to reach. So please bear with me. And here's another one of the posters. And the third poster. I think these are actually really cool. Well, I want to hang them all up, but I'm running out of space in this house. And the one thing they gave us to me, they were just giving out in the lines. Like these little panels advertising the things that Walter Jones also needs John do, how they do like streams and all that stuff. They could do giveaways and all that. So if you guys do want to check it out, here's that. Like that. Here's for Austin's. Alright, so that's pretty cool. And actually, here's the bag that you put me stuff in. And they gave me a, a free second lanyard just for the hell of it, so that works. And then when I'm. And then one of the people I went there and met, after I bought that print from them, they gave me this book for free. A little graphic novel for the order. That they're all working on, a little part of some of the power people are working on. If just check it out. I don't know what's the deal with that, but it's something that's been in the works for a while, but well for the best. And actually, another one of the toys I did buy. This is not power related, I just came across it. I was looking at it for all three days and then shortly before the last day, they bumped it down, and I said screw it, I bought it. This Vegeta figure. It's, So well, that's pretty cool. It's like these tools are really these toys are always going to be really cool. So maybe when Christopher Savick comes back to Vegas, maybe get him to sign this. And then another toy I actually did buy was this Goldar with wings. This toy's usually been pretty expensive, but they had it for like 15 bucks over there. They're like whenever, whenever every time I saw this in actual stores or on eBay or where it was averaging 30 to 40 bucks and they were selling for 15 so I bought it. And then another toy I bought. Okay, we we all know how like I love the Power Ranger Lightning Collection of toys obviously. The only one I'm missing is the pink. And every time I found that in the stores it was like hundred dollars plus. Apparently finally if they're finally starting to come down because apparently they re-released it so that's good. Got this for only 20 bucks. Kimberly. So, add this to the shelf. I'll do a separate video for the unboxing of this. Oop, oh, one more pin I did miss. The Down of Fury pin. And now, I do. I did get some autographs, but I'm going to save those for last. Well, here's the, well, first things first. 
if I can get it. They gave me this pretty cool hoodie. Now's not the time to be wearing it, but it's still pretty cool. This is too hot out here right now. And this one vendor there was really nice guy, and we just got talking the whole show. He actually made this shirt for me, and I thought it was cool. That, that on the side, and then you see the pink right there, and then the, and then the Legend of the White Dragon on the other side. So that's pretty cool. Now my exclusive shirts. Got this, this is the back of this shirt, and then here's the front. Well, actually, this shirt I actually bought from one of the vendors, and I thought, you know, it's really cool. I might as well buy it. All right, so another one, and then now the best shirt of the whole bunch, my exclusive Power Morphicon shirt. So that's cool. Now for the big things. Well, there's one thing that's really incredible. I got my pants on. Forgive the dogs barking, if you hear it. The thing I got my hands on, I'm going to show at the end of the video, but one thing I did, I, this should have been an early episode of package time, but never got around to it, I was exhausted. But this actually was a, an original sing single released in the 90s, so it's an original old school record, and I got signed by Walter Jones and Austin St. John. So I thought that was pretty cool. And one other person, alright, and then... One of the people that showed up there out of the blue that I for did not expect to show up Oops, whoops, dropping things Was, okay, if, if we all know I love Ninja Turtles The second movie, The Secret of the Ooze, that Michelangelo who was in the movie was there and he signed to this for me So that was pretty cool His Nick, Nick, Nicholas Palm I think his name was But it's pretty cool and nicest guy I should, he actually had the suit on, I was taking pictures with him in the show. Alright, well, now, that, now time for some other stuff. Another toy I got signed. Nikia Bruza, Bruza, I can't pronounce, I know her name Nikia, I just have a time pronouncing her last name, but whatever. It's alright. Well, she signed my toy of her. It's pretty cool. But er, pretty much everyone there who was there heard about my operation, they were like being ridiculously nice to me, helping me out, so... Everyone who helped me out, thanks a ton. And then, the, the Gold Ranger Power to Zeo. The original one before Austin came back as Jason as the Gold Ranger. There was three triplets who paid the Gold Ranger, and they all signed this for me. They were all really the, the greatest people. And then, pretty awesome, like, Rita herself was there, she signed this for me. I just kind of framed this stuff up because I want to protect it. And this isn't Power Ranger related, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, the 1985 movie Commando, Vernon Wells was there. He was in a he was in Power Rangers, but I he was in Power Rangers Time Force. But I know him best for the movie Commando. He played Bennett. He signed this. He wrote down, "I'm not going to shoot you between the eyes, Lynn. I'm going to shoot you between the balls." <laughs> That's just one of his catchphrases. And then the Alien Rangers, all except one were there, but pretty much, I met all the Alien Rangers, only unfortunately Raj is not being, wasn't there because she's not feeling too well, but it's alright, I've met her before, but when I do meet her again, I'm going to have her sign all of this, because all, all the other Alien Rangers were there. And now some other knickknack stuff I got. This is a pretty cool thing I got. Uh, young Tommy was there. He signed this for me. The guy who played Young Tommy. Alien Rangers. And this was. It was just kind of. They were, they were. They were just really cool people. So I got this one. The Yellow Beast Morpher Ranger. Just pretty cool stuff. And then the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers Megaport. She signed that for me. Pretty cool. And these two are actually really badass. Okay, Lupin III is a good anime I've watched a long time ago. It's pretty. It was really cool. I liked it. The guy, the guy voice Geomon was there. He did some voices and power and stuff, but I don't know. He was best better known for this. He was Geomon Lupin III puts on two Lin. Only slice worthy. <laughs> 
And the last, I think the same actor, Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor, I think his name was. I could be wrong. Or Lang, my bad. Duh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but his name is Lex, that's all I know. And he actually did the voice of Neo Cortex for Crash Bandicoot. He gave, got me this, he gave me this. It says, to Lin, let's rule the world together. Well, mostly me. So, pretty cool. Yeah, well, he didn't voice for earlier early ones. He just, he did the remaster stuff and the new current stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's pretty much all I bought. But there's one thing I have right here. I don't know how I scored it. But it's actually pretty rare. An original script from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers signed by the entire, entire cast on there. Even Tui Trang. And... I got this for a steal of the deal, and I actually looked, talked to this guy over there, the Thinegar, he looked at it, he said it's legit. So I was like, okay. And th this was signed, like, in the 90s, so you know it's old. So I thought that was really cool, and then, if you want to look really cool, okay, on this, this ad's really old, so this might bring back some memories. Pretty sure we all remember that. 90s kids. And the back, those are, those aren't original autographs, these are printed. But that's how they did it back then. Put this back in here. Yeah, but this thing, these things are worth a fortune, and I got it for a steal of the deal from a guy who had a booth. He was just trying to get rid of some stuff for X for X reason. I don't know why he was trying to do it, so he just, I just made him an offer, and he accepted. And there it is. That's pretty cool, though. Remember, all I know is about this episode. It's when Tommy was close, to, was about ready to come back as a. Because they, they did make an ace deck on here. It's when Tommy came back as the Green Ranger when he lost his powers. But they changed the title. They did change it, unfortunately, in the script. But the original episode was called A Return of an Old Friend. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, but that's pretty awesome stuff. All right, everyone. That pretty much wraps it up for everything I got at Morphicon. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of things. I had a lot of fun. With that. Oh, and one more thing I did get. I forgot to mention. Okay, another person from Mario Power. I've actually met him at a few conventions. He was actually at Unicon. His name is JC Jabari. He played Babu. He actually knows me pretty well. He actually knows me, so, and for the help, he gave me this card. An old, big, old trading card, and when him on the back, he signed it for me. But that's pretty much wraps it up. Alright, everyone, that, have you, were you at Morphicon? Did you, have you ever been to Morphicon? Did you enjoy it? Have you bought anything really cool that you think I should check it out? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, one blue ranger out.